Hello, my name is Steve Bowler and welcome to Introduction to Juniper Lab Number 2. In this lab we're going to be taking a look at the basic configuration of physical and loopback interfaces. We are going to be using the Juniper SRX210 network device just like we did in the Introduction to Juniper Lab Number 1. And as we can see from our diagram the laptop that I am on and talking to you from, the laptop is connected to the GIG000 interface on the SRX210 device. And I'm going to be using PuTTY to Telnet, or I'm sorry, we're going to be using PuTTY to SSH to the IP address into the box, which is 192.168.1.1. So in this lab, we're going to go over adminning up or bringing up an interface. We're also going to show you how to deactivate and disable an interface. In particular, the interface we're going to use for that is going to be GIG001. We're going to go over some of those features when we deactivate and disable. We're going to talk about the difference between them. We're also going to show you how to add a description to an interface. We're also going to add IPv4 and IPv6 addresses to interface. And we're going to sh show you and explain to you the concept of a unit and a family when it, it comes to the Junos configuration. For verification, we're going to perform show commands such as show interface description, show interface terse, and show interface followed by the interface name. And we're also going to show you how to use the rename function and how to quickly use that to rename an IP address. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to be configuring a loopback interface on the Juniper router. For obvious reasons we do that for our routing protocols that we use and for other purposes we don't want routing updates to be sourced from our physical interfaces obviously because if one of those physical interfaces goes down then our routing protocol might have to update and it might take down the routing protocol altogether. So we don't want to do that. So what we do is we configure a loopback interface, which is an interface that will never go down. Because once we configure the loopback interface, it's always in the up, up state. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get into our router. We're already in the router, and its name right now is Juniper Lab. Let's go ahead and take a look at interface GIG001. That's the interface that we're going to use in this lab for the majority of the lab. And the first thing that we can see when we do a show interfaces GIG001 is that we're seeing that the, the physical inter interface is this is Ethernet, this is the link level type. We're seeing that the interface is enabled and that the physical link is down. So the interface has been adminned up. By default, it's adminned up. However, there's nothing on the other end of this link. As we can see, we don't have another device on the other side of gig E001 in the network diagram. So the physical link is going to be down, which it, it shows us. So one of the first things I want to do is show you how to disable an interface. So we're going to go into configuration mode and we're going to do the command set interfaces followed by gig E001 and then disable. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. I'm going to commit and quit. Then we're going to do another show interface. We're going to see exactly what happened when I did this command. 